The cameras were pointed at the man in the headlines, but it was Oldham trying to steal the limelight with their last-minute escape from relegation. And their cause was helped tonight by some questionable defending and erratic goalkeeping from David James. A 20th-minute corner met by Darren Beckford at the near post and simply headed through him. Oldham had come out ready to scrap for survival and with Liverpool not prepared to be rolled over, at times it became something of a dogfight. At the other end, Liverpool profited from a rush of blood from the young England under-21 keeper Paul Gerrard. A headlong dash that left him marooned and Ian Rush controlling a lob to make it 1-1. Defending at corners, though, was to prove Liverpool's undoing. Mark Wright rescued James when the keeper again failed to dominate his six-yard box. But from the second corner, Ian Olney simply seemed to head the ball out of his hands. Another catastrophic mistake by the young Liverpool keeper. And within 45 seconds, Oldham had gone further ahead. And again, it was their sharpness into the tattle that won possession, and when Nicky Henry fed Ian Olney, the lanky striker had simply to lift the ball as James dashed off his line. 3-1 to Oldham before half-time. A Liverpool goal, 50 minutes into the second half, though, made it a nail-biting finish for Oldham, who needed all three points to keep the pressure on Crystal Palace. John Barnes picked out Ian Rush to head a really super goal and confirm his return to goal-scoring form. Three-two was the final score, but the night was to end on an unsavoury note involving Liverpool. An off-the-ball use of an elbow by Don Hutchinson, which floored an opponent on the edge of the penalty area. The incident spotted by the referee, and Hutchinson had to go. Liverpool, reduced to ten men, made it a real fight up to the final whistle, but in the end, Oldham got the three points that they needed.